This class is uh, about autonomous robotics. For the competition today, we've got several teams with different turtle bots, and so uh, we've been tasked to explore the neighborhood and look for animals that might be in need of rescue. These robots are uh, small, but they comprise uh, most of the sensors that actually you would see on a real self-driving car. One thing that I'll have to do is use the LiDAR, which is just kind of a spinning laser on top, to map its environment. The robot will figure out a way to navigate kind of throughout the map without hitting anything. At the same time, while it's building up the map, it's also localizing the animals. So it's using the cameras and machine learning to determine what objects are what. We can figure out which ones are animals and what are trees and people. We made sure that the base requirement of the project were kind of small and that everyone could tackle them, but then give time to students to kind of develop their own extensions. So some teams are able to react intelligently to a bicycle crossing the road. Uh, some other teams will kind of be extremely efficient in the way that they'll choose which animal to go rescue. Of course, we are not dealing with all the complexity of a real self driving car, but the point of this class is to make sure that students know about the, all the key technical aspects. It's definitely given me a healthy dose of respect of what real autonomous cars have to do. Here, it's funny when we mess up and like misclassify something, but in a real world situation, there can't be any of these mistakes or any of these miscalculations. I knew a little bit about everything before, but like being able to implement it on a real robot and integrating all these ideas, putting them all together has been really fun. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.